Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today we are diving deep into one of the biggest controversies in AI tooling, uh, Cursor ID. The Cursor ID recent price changes that have left developers absolutely furious. If you are been using a Cursor or considering it, you need to hear this story. So let's start. So Cursor started with some good promises earlier this year maybe in may and in may 2025 so just a couple of months back they released a version 0.5 with what they call a simplified pricing and they introduced an unlimited with rate limits a uh, system that sounds like a dream come true for developers no more counting your 500 monthly requests that we were having and just having an unlimited usage with reasonable rate limiting, right? Uh, wrong. Here's what things and have become a shadier. While Cursor marketed this as a you giving users an unlimited agent and AI usage, what they actually delivered was a system with a hidden non-transparent rate and limits that are could be worse than the original 500 request model. Uh, I've been going through all the Reddit posts as well, uh, just hearing it, what other have, might have to say, and we will go through what they have to say in this video. One Reddit user said, perfectly capture the front and also perfectly capture the frustration. When the new pricing model came out, I said it would be at two weeks until we see the real rate limits for the new pricing model. I said Cursor would initially provide us everything we desired only to gradually increase the constraints, likely slowing, slowly hitting water until it reaches a boil. And that's exactly what happened. The Cursor subreddit has been an absolutely brutal in their criticism. Uses hard reporting, hidden hitting rates just after a three to four prompts, even on the 200 ultra plan. When that's weird, but um, not sure on that. But that's just coming directly from a subreddit. So just take it as a grain of salt. But yeah, one user complained initially that there were no rate limits, but today I've encountered the limit three times within 20 minutes to an hour while using Opus on the Ultra plan. But here's a quick kicker. Um, cursor removed the ability to see your usage limits on the dashboard. As one user noted as well, I used to be able to see the usage limit on the dashboard. But now they seem to have removed it completely. Um, other thing is the transparency problem. Multiple users have called our cursor out for appears to be an intentionally misleading pricing. One Reddit post suggested or titled as this is not a legal period. Argues that the cursor's lack of transparency while it's EU regulation like an unfair terms directive. The company own document to contradict itself. Users found pricing information hidden in the HTML source code that wasn't displayed to the users. When questioned about this, the customer staff claimed it was a leftover code, but many users aren't buying that explanation for obvious reason. So that begs, that just points the question to all of us, like what actually, what unlimited actually means. The cursor rate limiting system uses something they call compute usage that factors in the model they select message length, file size, conversation length. But here's a problem. They won't tell you exactly how this factors translate into a rate limits. As one frustrated user put it, what exactly constitutes compute usage and how it is defined? There's a significant absence of a detailed processing information. The system has two types of limits, burst, lim burst rate limits and then there's the local rate limits. Burst rate limits for a short high activity session and local rate, rate limits that resets every few hours. 
but cursor won't specify what every few hours mean or give users any way to track their usage in the real time. Now that's a premium trap, right? Here's where it gets really problematic. Users on the pro plan who hit their invisible rate limits are pushed to either upgrade to pro plus, that is a $60 per month for a 3x higher limits or upgrade to a ultra plan that is $200 per month for a 20x higher limits. Enable usage based pricing with 20% markup but even with ultra users are getting are, are getting this limit threshold one user reported with opas being inaccessible most of the time the ultra plan feels practically worthless i would prefer to invest 50 dollars a month for a four sonnet thinking calls rather than pay 200 just to be told to wait and that makes sense now let's see the competition this pricing chaos that has pushed many developers to our different alternatives. Windsurf, Cursor's main competitor, recently simplified the pricing to a $15 per month with a clearer usage time. So let's uh, let's uh, search and see what they are offering. And another one I have noticed is the augment code that I have come on come up with most of the Reddit post. Some are using cloud code that has a better bargain with their terminal only approach, but it can be definitely be guided with WAP IDE. Uh, again, I have to dig deep dive into that tool. But uh, one of the YouTuber reviewed noted that Winsoft now offers uh, exactly the same package as you would get with the cursor, except you are just paying $15 a month instead of 20, which is 20% 25% cheaper. Many users are also switching directly to the cloud cloud, uh, sorry, cloud cloud code, which offers more transparent paper token pricing without the IDE wrapper. Now that's uh, controversial. Like if you are web coding it, you definitely need an IDE. But if you are an experienced developer, then I think the terminal only approach by cloud code does a fantastic job. Here's what Cursor wants to doesn't want you to know. Their curse um, the current pricing model is likely unsustainable. One power usage, one power user reported spending ten twenty dollar per day on a model usage, making over thousand requests in a four days. At twenty dollar per month, Cursor would be losing massive amounts of money on a heavy users. Makes sense. Um, the unlimited promise was never realistic. Uh, we all know it. It is. It. It was coming. As one industry analyst noted, crime cursor's primary revenue comes from a subscription, and the current pricing model offering 500 messages for twenty dollars is just justified by the high cost of using cloud sonnet and open API. Sorry, open APIs. Now this is all just meltdown to a trust problem. The biggest issue isn't just uh, pricing itself, it's a lack of transparency. Users feel deceived by the unlimited marketing when the reality involves invisible rate limits that can kick in after just a few requests. Uh, let me just say what my dashboard has to say, but no, it's not really performing. I have already enabled $15 and it's already gone beyond my unlimited usage as well. Uh, so I'm pretty much frustrated as all the other guys as well. Uh, I also tried the Cursor agent on the web that was launched this week. Um, it had an hit or miss, but again, that's the next topic that we can go over. But yeah, so what I'm finding is and what it is the trust that has been broken by a Cursor team. Uh, as one long time user put it, it's not being... It's not just being a rate limited, it's into transparency. If you knew ahead of the next month via email campaign, hints in the ID that, hey, you know, AI gets more and more expensive, various prices, please confirm that you accept. No one would say anything. Uh, that would make sense what this means. So now what this means to our developers, if you are currently using Cursor and you have a very few options to go uh, stick with this uh, legacy 500 request 
Um, I think that has to be done by something called billing. What was it? Yep, enable billing or I think opt out out of new pricing that will just eliminate your limited usage and you will go back to that 500 request plan or switch to alternative plans such as oh, Winsoft that offers $15 per month with the same thing many I'm particularly con experimenting with many different I will be probably going with cloud code based on my usage um, now the bigger picture would be the si this situation reveals a broader problem in the AI tool space. Companies making unsustainable promises to give me markets share, then quickly pulling back once they have users logged in. Cursor's 2.6 billion valuation is built on a growth matrix that may not be as sustainable with the transparent pricing. The developers' community reaction shows that trust is paramount in the space. When your core users are developers who can really switch to alternatives, transparency isn't just a nice to have, it's essential for surviving. Now, my final thoughts are, Cursor's pricing controversy is a masterclass in how not to handle a business model pivot by promising unlimited usage while implementing high hidden weight limits that damage trust with their core user base just as complete competition is hitting up. The saddest part, Cursor is genuinely a great tool. Their AI integration is a top notch and many users love actual product. But good technology can't overcome bad business practices and broken trust. What do you think? Are you still using Cursor despite these issues? Or have you switched to alternatives? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into an AI tool space. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.